Greetings Exiles and welcome to my short video guide of Path of Building for Beginners. In this one I will go over what the program is, where to get it, how to import and export characters, how to get close to realistic in-game settings and where to get a very nice fork or add-on to further improve the program. First let's talk about what Path of Building or POB is exactly. It is a third-party simulation or calculation program for any Path of Exile character. You can import characters, passive trees and items from the life service or create and save your own builds without having to try them out in the game first. It also offers a huge built-in database for most items and their mods to select and craft your items there. After you download and install the program from the GitHub website, link is in the video description, start it up, it might want to install some updates. Just wait until that's done and you're ready to go. Now if you're not already in a screen that shows you the passive tree in the middle and says unnamed build at the top left, just press new in the top. You can now start experimenting with the classes, trees, skills and items. If you want to import a build either from a link to the paste bin, the paste bin itself or the game, make sure to save your current build and create a new one. First select import export in the top left. Now there are three ways to import a character. The first one is to get it from an actual character in the game. For that you need to know the character's account name, press start, select a character from the list and select which information you want to import. The second and most common way is to import the character from a pastebin link. You don't have to click the link wherever it is provided, just copy it and in PUB select import from pastebin, paste the link, then import and import again. If this fails there is a third way. In this case open the link in a browser and copy everything from the paste bin. Go back to your POB, paste the code there and import. If you want to export your build to share with other players or to save it for yourself, go to import export again and click generate. You can now either copy this extremely long code and send it to other players which I only recommend if the Pastebin website is offline or click share with Pastebin to generate a link you can share. Once you have a build loaded up you can see the passive tree, all skills and skill setups and items. Above the equipped items you can manage item sets. Most players do not use the feature but in my builds there are sometimes multiple setups with different gear for different use cases or game stages. When looking at the tree there is a drop down menu on the bottom left where you can select different trees without changing the gear. I use it to show passive tree progression during leveling a character. It can also come in handy if you want to try different pathing without having to copy the whole build again. In the skills window you can find all active and passive skills with the links and where they are socketed into. You can edit the labels to make notes or clarify something. Something extremely important and where many players experience difficulties is the configuration tab. If you imported a build this should all be set already, so don't change anything if you don't know exactly what it does or if it reflects the actual in-game situations. However, if you are doing your own builds like I do, I always select the parameters to show a bossing situation, meaning a single target with strong resistances. So for example I selected that the enemy is Shaper or a Guardian and even though this build generates frenzy charges on kill, I do not select them because I cannot generate them in an instanced boss encounter without minions. Depending on what build you are playing you might not want to showcase a bossing but maybe a mapping situation. Since you have to set these configurations differently for every single build or even every single passive or item you have, I will not go further into this. Just remember to never set the enemy is shocked to true, because even if your build does shock an enemy this will almost always calculate a wrong value. This leads me to the last thing I want to talk about in this video. The normal POB has a lot of flaws, but there is a fork which is kind of a different version or an add-on of POB on GitHub which improves and adds a lot of highly requested features made by local identity. Making use of it is extremely simple. You can find the link to the instructions in the video description down there. I'll go over it real quick. First you need the normal POB ready and running. Then go to the directory C, program data, path of building or to the folder you install POB in. 
there you will find a file called manifest.xml. Make a backup copy and then open it with a text editor. Close to the beginning, there are lines that start with source and one of those says something with part equals program. Change the part it says open our ARL to path of building community. Save and start your POB as if nothing has happened. It will now add in future download updates related to this fork. Once it's done downloading, which can take a minute, it'll tell you that an update is ready, click on it and press update. You will already be able to see differences when looking at the stats. But the biggest difference is that PUB now correctly calculates things like impale, shock or elusive. An important thing to note here is that there are sometimes problems when trying to import a build made with the forked version of PUB to the original PUB. So if you're not sure if the other person has the fork installed, you have to revert the changes made to the manifest.xml file. It will then install the normal PUB, open the build in there and generate a new pastebin. This is why I keep a copy of the original manifest file to quickly change between POBs. Congratulations! You can now use the basic functions of Path of Building and its fork made by Local Identity. If you like this video, then please leave a like. If you want to see more such content, please let me know in the comments. That's it from me for now. Thank you very much for watching. I am Jay and I'm out.